Thank you. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Thursday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Tiffany Head, she has been in the news a lot um, this week or so. Honey. You know, she was once in there behind that mess with um, um, Carmen. People said that they were going to get Then people said, oh, they working for a check, honey, and that's what they're doing, and it's a good thing. But now Tiffany is speaking out. Now, I need help with this Ricky and Eva and Brad, y'all, because this is an interesting story. She said, y'all, that she has never had to sleep with no man in Hollywood, honey, for a check. She said, Thank God that she got her talent and talent, and God brought her through, honey, that she didn't have to sleep with no man to get a check or something. I'm no big-time producer. Do men, even branch up, do they really do this to women, y'all? Have y'all asked y'all to sleep with them to get a position? Is that it's real? It's the whole Me Too movement. It's the where oh, the yeah. Me Too movement came from. It absolutely, absolutely happens, yeah. Really? I mean, so... Uh, she, she said I a man can't told tell her how many how many people like women I had to sleep with to become the host of comedy. <laughs> okay, also it's reverse <laughs> on it. Right. You know, uh, let you know right there. I put it down. I became the host. Okay, uh -oh. yeah. Uh -oh. Did something, honey? Oh, you had to stand in, but yeah. I mean, it was Ooh. just <laughs> <laughs> the same one from Friday up in there. Okay. <laughs> But I mean, I find that funny. I mean, it's amazing, though. Know, and she, you know, she's speaking out there that people would actually do. She said, "Me and I've told her in order for you to get the job, and you got to come be with me, and you'll get the job, and you be with me." And she said, "She's not done that." And she said, "Thank God for her talent and stuff, or what have you." So, congratulations to her. I'm like, I guess it really does happen, and it's happened to everybody. All right, mm -hmm. moving on in other celebrity news, y'all, honey. Vivica Fox, y'all, a lot of people saying Vivica is talking out because she ain't got no job. But I don't know, and I think Vivica is working, doing something, though, but she is really speaking out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta stuff, particularly Kenya um, Moore and Nene. Now, she recently said that Nene may be on drugs or whatever. That's one of the reasons why she was acting the way that she did during that reunion. Which, Do you um, think uh, she meant it like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was very like that. Yeah. She wiped her nose, Ricky. Yep. Insinuating yeah. there was something under her nose, mm -hmm. and she oh, was just really? saying, "Now you know when Nene clap back, it ain't gonna be pretty." Yeah, but she in rehab now. Who is what? But Nene said she was going to rehab, so I think she's probably in rehab, so she can't clap now because she's allegedly in rehab and stuff. So, so she ain't is she in now. rehab or counseling, Gary? No, she said she was going to rehab. Oh, was it? What she say that? At? What she say that on? Uh, in the media. She said you see, oh, wow. Well, we wish her the best. Well, yeah, we do. And cause, I mean, you know, sometimes, who was it? It was just some celebrity went uh, to council and he got in and left. So he got there because, they, oh, um, one of them um, Kardashians' um, husband, because people are there taking pictures of you. I don't believe that because people take pictures, you, pictures of you in rehab or what have you. That's an interesting thing. They're not thing. supposed to. No, but I mean, I guess they did to him and he left, child. So we're going to follow that story. Now, okay. Um, Eva, now it's being reported, yo, that honey, your boss, Mr. Anderson Cooper. Now they're saying that Anderson Cooper, now Andy and his Cohen. good friend, honey, Andy Cohen or Anderson. I, I Cooper? mean, I mean, a, a, yeah, Andy Cohen and um Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen. Now they're talking about that these people are fighting over the children wearing um um hand me down clothes. Now they're saying y'all that Anderson um Cooper's son Benjamin is going to be handing down his clothes to Anderson um um Cooper's son Wyatt, and people saying they are rich people. What is the big issue about this? Uh, but Anderson alleged said that he is cheap. But how could Anderson be cheap? Even help me out. His mom is Gloria Vanderbilt. She didn't make that baby no clothes. Before, that doesn't uh, matter. That's a waste of money. If they're nice clothes and they're gently worn, there's no reason to spend more money. You can right. give that money to somebody else that needs it. Yeah, right. but and, his mama, and his mama ain't made no jeans since 1980. She's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Real. <laughs> baby, when we was in school, we I wanted some Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. And I was mad because I couldn't get none, honey. Baby. All the girls on the back. Yes, honey. Everybody wanted Glory Band to honey. And I feel like she should have made something for her grandson. Hell, I mean, do some of that job or whatever. But no, I don't that's think... good, though. That's but... good. Because it reminds you that people are just people. Just because you see them on TV does not mean that they do things different than the rest of the world. Hand-me-downs are sure... fun. Yeah, and I'm sure these clothes are not just your average hand-me-downs. I'm sure right, this baby right. is rocking Tom Ford and everything else. I would absolutely take those hand-me-downs myself. <laughs> but didn't Andy have um, Corona? What? what? He had it. was a cold. It's gone. Oh, He's I thought, it it well, I thought child, Corona got everything. in the clothes. I thought they said Corona was in your clothes and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, the baby wasn't out. Huh? The baby's clothes is what's... The baby's... <laughs> never mind. But yeah, it was in the happy. house, though. If it was in the house, I thought you had to exterminate he, the house. He, and stuff. he wasn't around. He was quarantined. Remember, he reunited with his son, and he was saying it was the best thing ever because he missed him so much. Yeah.
Oh, well. No, he didn't get that story. Right. He didn't get the good parts. Only the messy parts. The Kahlua today, I'm going to my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, you have coconut milk. On the high end, you say coconut milk, and on the low end, you say beautiful white. That's your Kahlua for today, honey. <laughs> All right, y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Oh, oh, Gary. Gary. Yes. All right, man. All right, listen, y'all. <laughs> Coming up, y'all, is Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, congratulations to all the teachers out there. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. And who is your favorite teacher growing up and why? Call us up, 866-9-RICKY. And we're thanking our teachers next on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. You don't want to miss it.